Hello, good morning and welcome to PGTV. We're fishing a beautiful water in Scotland, the Tay, the mighty river Tay. We're up here fishing the Dalmatic Beat and I'm fishing a particular pool called the Glide and it's um, been tough conditions. We've not seen a lot of fresh fish, but uh, we're gonna keep going in the hope to catch one. So they're allowed to fish uh, the worm up here. So we're gonna give the worm a go, see whether we can find a fish. And the technique that we're going to be using is the bouncing Betty. And I'll just show you the technique. Um, if you want to give it a go, obviously you've got to check with your club or water that this is permissible. And uh, the gamekeeper here said that worming is fine on this stretch of the Tay, so it's completely okay. Um, I'll just show you the rig. So first of all, we've got a 12 foot um, salmon rod here, spinning rod. And you can see there we've got the Abu multiplier. That's got 20 pound fluorocarbon on. So that we've got the Bouncing Betty. And the nice thing about the Bouncing Betty is you can change these weights. And I'll just show you what I mean here. So you can you see the different weights? And there's a swivel on there. And that's the rig sliding. So the fish doesn't feel the weight. To that we've got 20 pound of Maxima. And then to that we're using a circle barbless circle hook. It's a carp hook and then we put um, about two lobworms up the line and then we put one on the hook and you can see there's my lobworms there and you can see that and uh, probably about a three foot trace is what we're working with so the idea is there is an art form to worming and you've got to uh, be in touch with the gravel bars and you adjust your weight according to the flow and it's so important to get that vibration make it come round like a fly let it swing round and then when it stops be patient and then you've either hit bottom and then you can just lift out of that or if you hit a fish she will start to kick off and then that's the time to wind in a little bit and then set the hooks and away we go so this is a beautiful part of the tay you can see how gorgeous it is the surroundings are beautiful and this is the glide here so it's chest weightable fly fishable as well we put the fly through we put the spinner through it's our final day we've not had a fish yet but we're hoping that maybe the worm might salvage our trip so over there you can see there's some lovely, lovely water there. The hospitality is excellent here. Colin, who's the owner here, is very, very helpful, and Andrew. And we appreciate their hospitality and their help, and we'd highly recommend them to come over and give it a go. They do cottages as well, so you can book, he'll do you a deal on cottages and on the fishing, and uh, it'll be very good value for money. So I'd highly recommend um, giving Colin a call. I'll put the number on, on, on the film for you guys. If you want to come up and give it a go, then uh, I, I'd highly recommend it. Okay, let's get on with the action and see how we get on. Okay, over here we've got a very thin neck. We're in September, so we're autumn fishing here for the autumn springers. Sounds like a con contradiction in terms, but the autumn salmon. And there are some big silver bars that come up in the autumn here, up on the Tay. So this is the pool that I'm gonna fish first. And as you can see, it's uh, got a lovely bit of flow here. Now you might <laughs> look at this and it might look like a washing machine, but underneath there's a nice flow through here. And we're gonna fish just up here. So you can see the V here. See the power coming off there. There's a 40 foot hole through here. And the salmon like to sit on the edge of that flow. There's a very fast bit of water. They have gotta work their way up. They either rest here or they rest above. And uh, the only way you can really fish this is with a, a bouncing betty. So we're going to cast onto the edge of the stream and we're going to lift the rod up and we're going to show you the technique. We're going to bounce it through, taking spots around here. It's well worth covering that anywhere around here, all the way down. And we'll cast it out further and further. We start with a lighter weight and then we adjust upwards as the flow dictates. So I'll just show you how it's done. right on the edge of the crease, let some line out so it gets to the bottom. And when it's on the bottom, we don't put the ratchet on. We literally feel it with our thumb. And now I can feel it just bumping bottom. You can see the vibration on the end of the rod. There's, there's the vibration, now we're fishing. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful. Just let that fish through. Move it a little bit, that's lovely. Uh, sink and draw, 
sink and draw up and down and then it works through the flow so when you get a bite it can be a very delicate bite you don't strike you actually just let it take line then you wind up and then you strike into it and that's working lovely and it's searching the water so it's lift bouncing and lifting and once you finish bring it in it's still going very deep pool very 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 deep pool indeed so let's have another cast bring it up check your worms always keep fresh worms on say I put two up the line and one on the hook using a size 8 circle hook barbless important stay in touch with those fish and they won't come out so we're going to go again a little bit further out this time a bit further across midstream give it a cast perfect lovely give it some line get it down it's a 40 foot hole it takes some doing to get down and then that's it now we're down now we're on it we are on it now you can see it bouncing you see the rod tip see how that's bouncing through it's just bouncing and searching the water lovely beautiful so there's undercurrent underneath this turbulence so you look at that and think no way is there salmon in there but trust me there's an undercurrent and the salmon sit there well worth covering now we've got a trout bite there salmon's going on there could be a trout just going to wait patiently if it takes line then you want to just take up that line yeah something's on this i can feel a vibration so we're going to wind in and then we're going to set the hooks wind in make it straight and up she comes fish on fish on fish on fish on we've got a salmon on here on the tay and it's a good one it's a good fish let's have a look at her no, it's a good fish here he comes here he comes oh yeah it's a beautiful salmon oh he's head shaking he's head shaking oh it's a good fish oh he's taking me out he's head shaking look at that guy on the back eddie he's broken surface all right let's play him up Playing him upstream. Let's bring him up. Here he comes. So we're fishing a multiplier, 12 foot rod, and this is my first ever session worming. And we've got a good salmon on here, and it feels big, very big. Here he comes. Up he comes. Up he comes. Up he comes. Oh. So the gillies just gone to get my chest waders. I put on a slightly heavier lead and now he's just tucked down here on the stream and he's he looks like he's a, it's a 25 pounder he looks big it's a big fish I can see him I don't know if you can see him but I can see him with my my glasses and that's no ordinary small fish that is a clonking great big fish pretty big look at the size of this 20 plus oh could be bigger always oh, head shaking oh jump out the water oh this is a good fish oh very good fish Whew. Bring him up. Oh. Oh. Good battle. It's a good battle. Oof. Oh my goodness me, that's a good fish. Wow. I might have to give Richard a call. Call Richard. <clears throat> Hello? 
I've got a 25 pounder on, Rich. No. Yeah. Can you give me a hand? Because the ghillie's gone to get the... Colin's gone to get the chest waders, but I've got a 25 pounder on here. I'm right. actually just up, up above the glide on the bank. Right. Thanks, mate. Oof. <sighs> I've got a 20 on. Richard's bringing it up, but this is a this is a this is a twenty pounder. Excellent. I put the weight up. Yeah. I trundled where you said, bang, off she went. <laughs> Good man. But we can right, probably so beach it down here if yeah, you want. Well, what we're going, I'm going to get down. Did it's you? Thick at this height of water. Um, we're going to maybe get it down in there somewhere. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big fish. Down, we'll come along the gravel. Yeah. I'll maybe take the rod off you. Yeah. And you're going to try and scramble down somewhere. Okay. I mean, I can get my chest waders on if you want. Oh no, you won't need to here. But Richard's got a net. He's coming with a net. If you give if you give Colin the net, I'll I'll bring it onto the net. Colin, I'm going to walk him up to you. And we could probably land it in this flow here. I'm going to walk him up. Good, it's a good fish. Look at the size of it. Look at it. Here she comes. That's a bit coloured, Paul. Get the net. Here she comes. Oop. Richard, can you just come out the other way? Richard, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. on for about 15. <sighs> it's been on for about 15. <sighs> okay. Okay. You got your camera on? Yep. Camera's on. You got your camera on? Yep. Camera's on. Right. Oh, what's the go again, Rich? Okay, here we go. What was that on? Maggot? Maggot. Here she comes.
the fish. Here she comes. It's a good fish. Colin, she's all yours. Well done, sir. <laughs> you keep it in the water, I'll come down to it. Yeah. We'll get down a bit there, Paul. 18 pound? Yeah. Good fish. Right, I'll get my chesties on. Good fish. Right, I'll get my chesties on. You don't need chesties on, Paul. Oh, can I get down with my wellies? He's got wellies on. You'll get, yeah, you'll get down here, Paul. Okay. But you'll just want to sort of slide off the bank onto the gravel here. Okay. Oh, how'd you get them? Yeah, just sort of sliding your bum oh, onto the gravel there. Ha! Oh, is she, she a henfish? Yes. <sighs> Well, she's, is she a henfish? Yeah. I'll tell you what, in that method... That method is unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, she's a good fish. Yeah, there you go, Paul. You got her? Yeah. I'll get, I'll get some. Thank you. Just give it some line, uh, Richard. Thank you. Okay, now, have you got the scorchers? Uh, I've got forceps. You've got forceps, right? That hook out? Yeah. Okay, I've got the fish. That third one I saw you get, Richard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, where are you? Where are you? Not as big as the one I got up there. <laughs> Was that that third one I saw you get, Richard? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're going to recover this fish. Are you going to hold it up for a, a sec? We'll recover And I'll get a picture. Richard, we're going to recover it first. Right, we're going to recover this fish. We're going to recover it. We'll recover it first. Richard, we're going to recover it first. You got it, Paul? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get her on a Oh yeah, she's powerful. What I'll do, she's if I take, if I take her, yeah, bit, yeah. You got her, I've got her. Pick her up towards the dogs a bit more. Yeah. If we get her off that main flow, recover yeah. her. Yeah, she's you. somewhere in there, yeah. My first Tay salmon. Oh. Ah, she's gone. Ha! Huh? There she goes. Okay. <laughs> well done, Thank Paul. you, thank you. <laughs> I'll take that for you. <laughs> I'm well pleased with that. Yeah. <laughs> My first tay. Can we give me 18 for her? Ah, I think about 18. 18 yeah, is yeah. about right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, she's gone. Ah! Huh? There she goes. Okay. <laughs> well done, thank Paul. You. <laughs> thank you, thank <laughs> you. I'm well pleased with that. Yeah. <laughs> My first tay. Can you give me 18 for her? Ah, I think I've 18. 18 yeah, is yeah. about right, isn't it? Yeah. Wasn't 25 then, Paul? No, it always drops down. It feels like a 25. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get anything? I, I had an 18 pounder. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Someone did then. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That feels like a fair Yeah. There we go. Right, that's the 6th of September. 18 pound salmon. Glide pool on the worm. Three feet on the water height, 55 inches on the water temp, 12 on the air temp, returned, wonderful trip, thanks to Colin and Andrew, and I shall be back soon. And here's the lodge, which Colin's built. You can see how nice the facilities are here. Hospitality is second to none. And then you can see the fire, log fire, comfortable seating, and you've got all these little pictures around the lodge with all the different salmon. And this is all the salmon pools, you can see here, that's lovely. And there's a 28 pounder that was caught a few years back. I think they've had some really, really big fish here. So isn't that just beautiful here, look at that. What's the name of that pool there, Colin? 
That's the Fernie Hall pool. Fernie Hall pool, and is and it's famous. Is it the famous pool on the Tay? It's one of the yeah. Well, the Duke of Athol hooked a, a fish in there, a 73 pound salmon, and landed it four miles downstream in the Cotter Bay at Newtown. Oof. That's incredible. And if the records are found, it'll break Miss Valentine's record. Wow. And yeah. is there a chance that it might be found? It could possibly, yeah. yeah. But the Athol has an extensive library. Okay. So it'll be documented somewhere. Okay, well, that'll be really interesting if you get that. Yeah, absolutely. Boy, 73 pounds. That's about another nine pounds on top of what they thought was the record. Mm -hmm. Another nine pounds on top. And what was that story you told me about the 100 pounder that was... Oh, that was caught in the nets by the netsman down in the down in the estuary. Over a hundred, about one hundred and five. One hundred and five pound caught by a netsman in the estuary. And how far are we from the coast here? We're as the for it's tidal up to Perth, so that's about fifteen miles. Okay. And how long does the salmon take to get here? Oh, three hours. We've been here three hours. So sea lice fish. Yeah. Very often you get long, in sea lice. Long tail. Long tail. So not even twenty four hours. Yeah. Off wow. the last tide. Yep. Yeah, wonderful. Well, we've had a wonderful holiday here. Thank you very much, Colin. No, thank you. Appreciate your hospitality. It's been a wonderful trip, and it's goodbye from me and goodbye from PGTV.